Okay, in this video I want to talk about the indicator, the green or red indicator on the Stratus 5 oxygen concentrator. So right now it's at green high and basically it says status normal. So basically what that means is that the oxygen level is good, um, it's clean and there's no kinks in the lines and the patient is getting uh, good oxygen. If for whatever reason, and so this is normal to have a green. If it, I think if it gets less than this, that means it's uh, becoming unnormal and you might need to do a couple of things. Right now, the patient is on one liter of oxygen. And of course, this will go up all the way to, to five liters. Um, if it's red and it says low, or usually it'll start uh, beeping, once it gets to red and it gets to low, there's several things that you could do, but basically it means the air quality is bad. There's either a kink in the line or the filter is bad, or it could possibly be an error in the system. So the first thing I would do is unplug it from the wall, make sure the patient doesn't need the oxygen or has another supply if they're on it 24-7. So we're going to unplug it, and what you're going to do is you're going to keep it unplugged, and this is actually a factory reset. You'll keep it unplugged for about five minutes. That resets it, and then plug it back in and see if the red low light comes off. If not, while it's unplugged, what we're going to do, it could be an issue with the, uh, the filter and not getting clean air. So you're going to remove the filter, it's on the side here, that just basically pops off. And we're going to thoroughly clean it with water. Hopefully if you have a spray, you spray it and that will help clean it. And then uh, let it completely dry. You could use a hair dryer or just let it sit air dry for several minutes to a half an hour to make sure it's not wet when you put it back in there. Turn it back on and then see if the, the low red light goes off. If it does not go off, check your oxygen line, your tubing. So as you can see, this one's really long, just so the patient can travel back and forth to the bathroom and kitchen and what have you. So there's a lot of room for error. So check this line and make sure there's not a kink. I'll go all the way through it. You can tell if there's a kink um, if you do turn it on, and then what you can do is you can get like a bucket of water like this, a little pail of water, and while it's on, slowly move the line um, all the way through to see if there's any bubbles that come off of it. Um, or you could literally just set the whole thing in a bigger pitcher of water, like a bigger bucket or the sink, while it's running. And, and and see if there's any oxygen that comes through. Now, of course, on the very end of it to where the patient is, um, and she's uh, using it right now, she has it on. Go ahead and hand that to me. So what you can do is get the very end like this, and then make sure it's on when running, and put this underwater and see if any bubbles are coming up. You want bubbles to come up under here because that means that there's oxygen coming up. You don't want uh, uh, bubbles to come up in the line itself. So if there is, I would just recommend, uh, there are patch kits for it, but I'd recommend you getting a new one, a new tubing, and you get these off of Amazon for nothing. And I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get the tubing. Um, but that should fit. Also check your bubbler here. Now we don't have the bubbler connected. So basically what the bubbler is is so it'll bring humidity to the patient so they won't dry out. And you basically put distilled water in it, and that will actually um, lead to lead to the machine. And then you would put the oxygen right here. But a lot of times that will get a kink a kink in it easily, and it did before. All right, thank you for so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe.